Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Perfotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. This is our second part of WordPress theme options development tutorial from scratch. In the last video session, we have seen the introduction part of themes panel. And in this video session guys, we are going to make our menu page. As you can see, menu page for theme optional panel while activating our theme. So, as you know guys, I have explained the add menu page function which we are going to use to register menu page at add administrator panel and we have used actually this function in custom plugin development video session series. So if you haven't watched so far the custom plugin development series then please go to our YouTube channel and also you can watch from there. So if you are not interested to watch custom plugin development so in this video session I will explain the functionality of add menu page. Okay guys so before using add menu page function add menu page this function guys basically used to add menu page in wordpress okay so before using this just go to its documentation section here and you can find add menu page function and it takes some parameter like page title menu title capability menu slug function and icon url as well as position so these are the settings guys that we have to supply for to make a menu page and if you don't know what is menu page just go to administrator panel as you can see posts media custom plugin pages comments these are called menu pages okay guys so if we click on any of these menu items then accordingly to according to these menu items they have own functionality so in this video session we are going to register a theme optional para panel here okay guys so let me use that just go to your theme and click on functions.php file just go to your theme and this is the theme guys that we have made in wordpress custom theme plugin development in the theme development video session series we have made this theme and here is the functions of PHP file just open it I have actually opened and in this file you have to actually add your add menu page to register menu page okay guys so add menu page first parameter should be the hook name what the hook you, you will use admin menu okay guys this is the hook that you have to use and here is the callback function like my theme menu page my theme option suppose and you just need to define this function just copy of that and paste it here function paste back it okay guys so here we have to write our menu page code okay guys to be added add admin panel so add menu page first parameter if you see then the first parameter says it's page title okay guys page title so what's the page title that you need to supply what is the page title then click on comments well guys it contains error because we have not completed this function just comment that okay again it giving error let me check that okay guys let me go to the code add menu page not defined let me check that line number 175 75 okay guys actually we have to use it's an action book so add action okay we have done wrong here add action is the guys function issue which is used to basically bind a action hook with a function name okay guys and the first parameter should be page name just click on refresh okay just comment this function So if you click on comment section, suppose our projects, then here you can see 
custom projects or you may click on pages then you can see page post type equal to page click on add new then you can see it's a page so these are nothing guys these are the page title okay so just you need to supply some parameters to your means custom theme panel just, just click on customize just click on visits so page title is thing page type is the parameter that we are going to pass to means take the value from url and we know that our page has been run so suppose it's a theme option suppose we are going to pass it suppose theme options and the second parameter guys it will take menu title and here is the menu title so we want that is something like theme options third parameter is what capability and it is it's support to admin level so manage option we have to pass next menu slug menu slug is something like theme options okay guys and uh, next parameter is callback function so suppose my custom theme options this is the guy my custom options this is the function which we call from next is icon url so to use the url you have to open dash icons and here is the link guys of dash icons wordpress developer dash icons click on that and here you can see guys there are bunch of icons according to you just you select this if you if we want to use some pro something like this icon just just click on dash icons is sticky copy of that and paste it into the parameter here and the next parameter that we need to include and add menu is something position okay guys so for now we are just leave blank for this because it takes by default the null value so we have supplied each parameter to this add menu page let me check that so this is page title okay guys title it's menu title it's capability it's something like menu slug it's callback function and here is the url sorry it's an icon so these are the parameters guys we have to pass at menu page and about these parameters you can read into the documentation section of each parameter something like a page title so page title is nothing that takes to be displayed in the tags of the page when your menu is selected okay guys and next parameter is menu title menu title is the thing menu title here you can see here custom plugin is the menu title for this okay guys and uh, the next parameter is something suppose what we have seen it's capability it's the user level as you can see so manage option and this the menu slug as you can see here the uh, the, the things that i have shown you suppose something like pay all posts so here the parameters suppose something like page equal to something like theme options so this is not this in the page url means page slug we okay guys so it's a menu slug and the next is callback function means on clicking of that menu tab what the functions actually will execute and here is the icon url okay so each and each parameters we have seen and we just implemented in our so and also we hooked up this function with admin menu so let me make this function as a callback function so function just 
is the name and here and we can write some statement here like my theme options panel here you guys control us to save and just click on refresh as you go down as you can see guys it's the icon that we have used this is the theme options this is nothing this is the menu title as we have supplied and on clicking on this link as we can see this is menu slug theme options that we have passed this is called menu slug okay guys here we have passed and uh, here is the icon and this is the custom function and here you can see a statement is written my theme options panel is here so this is the callback function that we have called from add menu page well guys so step by step we have seen the use of add menu page and also we have registered our theme options menu tab in admin panel in the later video session we can see we will see the use of settings function to register our setting as a theme option setting okay guys so for this video session thank you for watching have a great day